Hey peeps, it's been a rough week for me, but I'm getting all better and we got to feed some baby birds. Let's get right into it. Alright, so I've got the Hagen Tropican formula mix stuff. I'm using a 20cc syringe with a blur lock on the end and this flexible cannula tip. It is uh, made out of plastic and that just helps me to feed the tiny little itty bitty babies. Such as this. This is a little baby cockatiel, a little Lutino cockatiel. Let's raise this up a little bit. And we're gonna see. Hey, baby. Hey. Here, here, here. here. Look there. Look at that. Look at that. And that's all there is to it. I got, got him all fed. This little baby is already reserved. Someone contacted me on Facebook a couple of days ago and wants this baby. So once it's all weaned, it'll be going home. Isn't he just beautiful? I just love him. Now this noise that you hear, of course, is the the um, the conure. This is the mystery conure that we've been feeding. Here, turn around, Bubba. Here, are you hungry? A lot. He has a he has an amazing feeding response. He just he just goes wackadoodle crazy. Are you hungry? Huh? Here. Do you want something to eat? Here. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's so good. Yeah, you're gonna get some more. You want some more? Yeah, you a big old buddy. Yeah. Here. You want a little bit more? Yeah, 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 here, here, here. Oh my gosh, nom 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 nom. Oh my gosh, you so big. You so big and so strong. You so pretty. So yeah, we're going to feed these little guys. They are cute and beautiful and just charming and adorable. They're like little colorful Easter eggs that try to chew your fingers off. Yeah. Are you hungry? Yeah. Huh? You hungry? We call these the piranha keats. Uh, baby parakeets like to nibble. That's just what they do. Come here. Come here, girl. Come, uh-uh. Come here. <laughs> here, here, here. You want a bite? You want a bite? Nom, nom, nom. Here, you want a bite, little one? Here, little one. Here, here. Oh. Ow. Ow. They grow out of this, and once they grow out of this stage, they are just amazing, wonderful little pets. Come back over here. Here, do you want a bite? Do you want a bite? You're almost winged, aren't you? You don't want a bite, do you? There. No bites for you. Uh-uh, come back here. here. Oh, no. Here, here. Stay up here. Here, come over here. Let everybody look at you. Uh-uh, come back here. Here. Uh-uh, don't fall off. Here, come back. Here. There. Uh-uh. Uh, see? Oh. Yep, you jumped. Why are you let the bug fall? Well, she, she glided to the floor. <laughs> They're learning to fly. They're learning how to fledge. Be little birds. Come here. Uh-uh, come back up here. Now, these two are obvious siblings. They are yellow face. They, they're blue instead of being green based they're blue based but they have the yellow face on top of the head and they're opaline that means that they have this this pattern on their back as opposed to this normal coloration that's mostly dark you can see that the opaline right here on the shoulders has the clear patch where this guy still has I, I know still has all the little uh, bars so these are the four little parakeets that we're hand feeding. Piranha uh, Piranha keats. I don't know that I could hand feed more than four of these little guys at a time. Uh, even if I were to only get them out of, ow, stop it. Only get them out of the tub one at a time, you can't fly. I've already had to trim that one's wings because he, he went to go find Nemo like four rooms away. Thankfully he didn't land in the aquarium. Come on, here, there. I've got to put a lid on that tank just for that purpose. Here, can I, can I corral you? No. Uh -uh, come back up here. here. Ow. Ow. So here are these guys. They are so much fun. Um, two of these, I think this one and this one, no, these two. I've trimmed their wings. These are the older two. They're gonna wean, they're, on, oh, they're almost weaned. They're eating on their, come back over here. That one and this one are going to uh, some friends of Mary Carl. Mary Carl at Coghill Farm. Uh, two of her friends are each getting a parakeet. Come on. Here, 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 step up. You poopied on me. 
<laughs> I like this one. He looks green. He is green. That color is green, but this is a blue base bird that just has that that yellow suffusion overlaid on top of it. It's uh underneath colors is just beautiful. I love him. I love them all. Every one of them. I've got to get those lovebirds separated out in the pairs or put them all into a colony flight together and let them live that way. Um, I, I may just do that. Oh, come back over here. Here, this, this little parakeet that was in my pocket that time. So, let's feed the lorikeets, okay? Uh, the lorries. The lorikeets. Okay, so I take say these bye to the Say bye to the budgies. Bye bye, budgies. <laughs> okay, so here is Chaos. Uh, that would be a good name for a lorikeet. This is the Edwards lorikeet. This one has already found the home. Uh, he'll be shipping the other soon. One. <laughs> and this is the Rainbow lorikeet, also known as a Swainson's lorikeet or a Blue Mountain that. lorikeet. And this one is the scaly breasted so called because of the scaly color patterns on its breast do any of y'all want to be fed they're eating on their own Lori's just about winged themselves yeah that one that one's I gone fine. zoom zoom uh oh there goes that one here here scoot that way so everybody can see you there it went into your mom's closet we'll never find it will we <laughs> Okay. Stop. Aren't they beautiful? <laughs> here, come here, come here, come here. I want to show you when I'm weaning the lorries. There's a little bit of hand feeding formula left in the the cup. I put some lorikeet nectar powder. You can't fly. I put some lorikeet nectar powder in with the hand feeding formula. Let's add this formula back and add some more water to it. And I mix this up and I put this in the cage for them and they just eat it on their own. You know, they are fruit and nectar eaters. Their, their food is just a dry powder. And so they, they just, here, do you want some? If you've ever been to any of the zoos of lorikeet exhibits, you know that they they come to the little cups and bowls to eat on their own. And that's exactly what these guys do. Do you want some? Have some. Have some. Alright, well we're having too much fun with these guys. So we're going to close it and say adios. Bye bye. Love you. God bless you. See you next time. Bye bye. Bye. Yeah, so I've been sick for a week. I've had strep throat, and I ended up at the doctor's office this past Wednesday, uh, severely dehydrated. They gave me a a liter of saline solution I, IV right then and there. Uh, I was at my endocrinologist yesterday, Thursday, and my A1C, uh, I have diabetes, you know, my A1C, normally it's about 7. Mine was 5.3 yesterday. She has taken me off of the Novolog, the fast-acting insulin. I no longer need that, except for uh, emergencies if my glucose rises above 200, but it never really has. Um, I've been using a Dexcom uh, continual glucose monitor, the little thing that pops onto my belly. And I have been 98% in range. The 2% out of range is when my blood sugar has dropped really low. It has an alarm on it and it has woken us up twice in the middle of the night that my blood glucose has dropped down to uh, about 67, 68. So let's, uh, let's feed the little parakeets, Jeremiah. Oh no.